name is Teddy Rankin. I'm a 19-year-old singer-songwriter from Erie, Pennsylvania. I, uh, I'm an English education student at Gannon University. Babe, I'm really sorry You had to watch me struggle this year My Van Gogh nights are never starry I'm more likely to cut off my ear I think for me it's a lot about my family. We're a very musical family. My dad has played guitar his entire life and he gives little mini concerts in the living room all the time. And uh, when you're around that, when you're young, it's kind of hard to not fall into it. High school, I started writing songs and recording myself and kind of working on that kind of thing. And I wasn't very good at it at first, but um, in last year, my freshman year of college, I released two albums, and they were kind of a, a combination of all the songs that I've written throughout the past four or five years while I was working on that stuff. outside in the street with my neighbor and I was playing pretty rough and I got a pain in my chest and I thought it was just something from playing. I came in that night and when I was in bed I was rolling around trying to get comfortable and then the pain just got really like a lot worse. So we went to the ER and they did x-rays and they told us I probably just have like acid reflux or something. You're Staring into and then the next day my family doctor called us and ordered a CAT scan and then from there we had an appointment and they were like, you need to go to Pittsburgh right now. So we went there and had a biopsy um, right around Easter time and my parents and my family were, were there and they told us that I had stage 3 Hodgkin's lymphoma. Don't know how long I'm gonna have you for, but I'll be watching when you change the world. Look at your hands, they're still so small. Someday you're gonna stretch them out and save us all. I think though that it's made me a stronger person. It's definitely um, influenced me as a person. Like, when I see an obstacle now or see something that's difficult, I think I can definitely overcome that because look what I've already overcome. My biggest musical influence is definitely my dad. And he, you know, he, he watched me when I was sick and he took care of me then. And a few months ago, he was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And in my it just kind of furthered the connection between us because we already were kind of connected through the music and now also we're cancer buddies and I think that our family is, is really strong and if it had to happen to any family once or twice then our family is definitely capable of handling because we've been strong in the past. Easy go.